Glaciologist Jason Box and physicist Basil Singer are in Greenland to see if they can save the planet's glaciers. They want to measure just how fast this one is melting. The Mulan is really the epicenter of our concern because all the water is channeling down into this one point. By measuring the flow rates, we can understand how much water is going into the glacier. Oh, wow. Whoa. Welcome to the epicenter of global warming. It's just bottomless. No light escapes. Basil has volunteered to take the first reading. Cool. Just walk it back. Give me attention. Don't lean towards me, lean back. That I got you. looks I extremely I got scary. You. The only way to know how much water is going into the Mulan is by sticking our sensors in and making a measurement right there next to a bottomless pit. The water drops for a whole mile. You would not want to fall down there. There's no escape from a Mulan. Look off, look off! It's just got danger written all over it. I never thought I'd be standing at the edge of the abyss like this. And I'm so scared. But the information is so important, we actually have to take that risk. Let's make these measurements and get out of harm's way. They use a flow meter to measure the water speed. Let's see how fast the water's dumping into this hole. OK, so we're measuring the flow right now. Dab it in there. Whoa, that's so strong. Look at that. Whoa! There's so much energy here. That's the force of this water. What's the speed? That peaks at 9.4 miles an hour. That's really moving. This must be about 1,000 cubic feet per second. This is more melt now as expecting. On a scale from 0 to 10, how serious is this melt issue? It's an 11. In just one day, nearly 42 million liters of fresh water drained down this one Mulan alone. And Jason believes there are hundreds, possibly thousands more of them on the Greenland ice cap. The data sends a chill up Basil's spine. And it's not from the cold. At this rate of melting, Greenland is losing enough water each year to cover Germany a meter deep.